The only battle you're facing is between you and your subconscious mind. Everything else is not a factor. So my name is Joy. I'm an energetics teacher. If you don't know what that is, I basically just teach what I see in the spiritual realm, what I see in the physical realm, and I make connections from there on. I also take in economics. I also take in the culture, the trends, the what I see when I go out, and just kind of bring in conclusions that could definitely help you in business, in marketing, in sales, in consciousness, in feelings, in relationships, in your inner relationship, your relationship with God, the divine, all of it kind of, they all bleed into each other. There's no way to teach one without the other. So this video is titled, Allowing Distractions is a Soft Suicide. So the reason I said something as controversial as that, and I know YouTube will hunt me down, um, is because it is. Your dreams are dependent on you not being distracted. When you kill your dreams, you kill a, a piece of you, like 60% of your soul has to go when you don't fulfill your dreams. Like there's no way. Your dreams are in congruence with your authentic self. This is not, your dreams are not very far from who you are. It's like an, another arm that is extending itself out. No one says this arm is not connected to me it's just like it is and so your dreams also are connected to you and when you allow yourself to be distracted it is a soft suicide you are killing yourself slowly you are taking away your life force energy because you're using it on something that was not designed to be in so anytime you are distracted and i would group in procrastination as distraction it's not only a, like a spiritual thing because you can be distracted because there are forces higher in the heavenlies that do try to pull your attention. But a lot of times they don't even have to work that hard. A lot of us humans are setting ourselves up for failure by what we eat, by what we watch, by the momentum we're bringing into our lives. What momentum? If you play video games, you're going to play more video games. If you eat like crap, you're going to want to eat like more crap. If you lay in bed for days and days, you're gonna to wanna to continue doing it. The momentum is so strong towards the opposite of your life. If you're in a relationship with somebody who's completely nowhere near the journey of what you want, you're creating more momentum in a, to a direction you don't really necessarily want to go. So I will further, I will 100% send 10 toes down and say being distracted is not a symptom of being lazy. It is not a choice that you're making. It is not because of your time, lack of time management. It is not a weakness. It is a game that you are unaware that you're in. And so today, uh, there's no way I can talk about being distracted without talking about the subconscious mind, without talking about your inner puppy, We're not talking about lust and sex, without talking about creativity and perfectionism, and without talking about people's lack of deep self-reflection. And so we're going to get um, into that through this video. Um, I recommend you do not skip around because the people who skip around and these are people who are like, well, nothing's changed in my life. I mean, I don't start with watching a video from front to cover, from beginning to end. A lot of people um, don't know this, but as content creators, we watch, we watch the data and we use it to our advantage or we don't. We watch your comments, we watch your likes, we watch it, we see it. And we calculate which direction we want to go from the feedback we get from you. And what I've noticed is that a lot of the people who have the most negative things to say about me never watch the whole video. So I don't even know if I should respond to you. I don't know. I understand where, like, come on out. Well, I know what I'm on. I know this game. I know this platform has, it's okay to be a little bit um, outlandish, offensive, silly, but sometimes I'm like, <laughs> you didn't even watch the whole video. So I'm not going to be offended for someone whose attention span is 30 seconds and four minutes. Four minutes and 30 seconds. I'm not going to be offended. You're not going to get it from me. You're not going to get me stopping from educating myself and studying. I'm not going to stop. But you're not going to reach me and change me if you can't even sit and watch a 30-minute video. So the first thing I want to talk about through this um is I have about one, two, three, four, five, five points that I want to bring in. The first one is distractions are illusory. So one, 
when you allow distractions, I said that it's a soft suicide. The reason I said it's a soft suicide is because one, something about you is so, has such a deep low self-esteem. It, it just runs down to it. And one thing about it is one, every single person, every single person, except maybe 2%, maybe 2% has a goal, whether they know it or not. They have a goal of their life. Do they have a plan? No. Do they have um, a structure around that goal? No. But they have a goal. Whether it's to lose weight, to get a certain job, to get a better job, to get better um, physically, to, and, and that may not be losing weight, that could be gaining weight, could be getting um, like better looking, could be posting multiple times a day. It could be anything in this entire world. Like this is a creative world, right? And so... The things that you do, you know that it's possible to be do to do. Sorry, the things that you want, you know that it's possible to want and to achieve. But your mind somehow perceives at the end that the goal goalpost will move. Your mind perceives that there's people around you who are competing at a higher quality than you. Your mind perceives that's what happening internally. Everybody can hear it, or your mind perceives the value of what you're, you cannot see the value of what you're doing. So for example, money, it is a illusory energetic experience, especially now when we, we don't use cash money anymore. Money is now just resulted on numbers on a screen. And so that's illusory in itself. I mean, that's incredibly illusory. And so you perceive that as you pursue this goal, that my life, the goalpost will move. Something about this feels like I'm the only person who cannot achieve this goal. It's just a very, very low self-esteem. Low self-esteem comes from having your illusion is wrong. So likewise, the word... The quote, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. One person is probably looking at me and she's like, oh, her hair is just like not perfect. Or she wears too much makeup. Or like oh, her nails are like chipped. Can you see that like little corner chip? Like, oh my God, hmm. not feminine. Okay, so these are people who are, whose eyes are beholding me and they don't think I'm good enough. Then there's some people who are like sending me money just because they think I'm pretty. The beauty is in the eye of the beholder and um it's a illusory experience now that we know it's an illusory experience right you are intentionally creating an illusory experience where your goals are unachievable why would you intentionally do that i don't know about you but if toma told me i have the capability of changing how i see the universe this arbitrary abstract of the universe, which it is abstract. I have my power to change it so I can see the universe in a way that creates more happy chemicals into my body. You won't take heed of that chance. And this is the power of infinite intelligence with creating the universe without any, without telling us what to expect and what to do. That would stifen the power of our creativity. And so our creativity has been stolen, hijacked, hijacked to a T. It has been deteriorated while simultaneously being praised. It's like, for example, the rapper who wants to, who's like intelligent rapper, but nobody respects him until he's like now headlining for some artist. Nobody respects his work. Nobody respects his hours put in until he's headlining or performing um, live, right? That's when people are like, oh, she's she headlined for Coldplay or she headlined for Ariana Grande. <clears throat> who who are they? Whole time they've been posting for like a decade. Right? And suddenly this person's creativity is praised, but the person who's starting is not praised, right? Why? Because it's an illusory experience, right? Business is illusory. Being a billionaire is illusory. A celebrity is illusory. My wig is illusory. You think my lips are red? That's illusory, okay? 
Do you think my face, do you think I just woke up and the lighting was good? No, there's a light, there's a light right there. And that's illusory. All of it is illusory. And so pe- there are people who reject that and they're like, I don't want the illusion. I want real, I want real, I want real, 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 real. No, you don't want real. Okay. And you don't want real because I know so many real people, but these people are the ones watching my channel trying to figure out why everyone's treating them like that. Um, real people struggle a lot and I'm not telling you to stop being real, but I'm under trying to teach you that play the game. Why? It's a game. You lose, you lose. You get better the next time. People who are afraid of playing the game, I just don't understand because it's like, if it's a game, even if you lose, it's just a game. So your emotions are getting caught up into something that it's really not personal. So getting more into the illusory of low self-esteem, let's talk about how the inner puppy and inner owl. So at first when I wrote this, I wrote inner puppy and inner wolf. And I didn't like it because I didn't think that that's what I wanted to say. I didn't, I'm not really trying to teach people to be vicious, even though I want you to prefer that, but I wanted people to access their wisdom. So the inner puppy is just, when you get distracted, do you think you're being distracted on purpose? Do you think that you know that this, this final is worth 50% of your grade and you're just being distracted because you know, you're lazy. You think, you think that's, it was that simple. If it was that simple. Don't you think we would have done that? And so I don't think it's about being, I don't think it's about being um, lazy. I don't think it's about you not making the right choices. I don't think it's about that. I think what's happening here is that it's an innocent distraction without being aware of what detrimental consequences are. Now, if you fail a final, will you die? No. Will you feel a little embarrassed? Yeah. But no successful person is doing that without feeling embarrassed most of the time. Um, So I labeled it as your inner puppy because I feel like it's coming from an innocent place. And, but without not knowing better. Um, The opposite of that, I say, is the inner owl. And the inner owl is someone with deep wisdom. They know who they are. That's the ultimate wisdom. They know where they're going, second ultimate wisdom, and they will not stop until they get to where they want to get to. And so that is the inner owl. The inner puppy is like, oh my God, I need to go here. Oh no, 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 wagging their tail. I get distracted. Oh my God, the little bird did it. But it's not about that. It's about being very, very in tune with who they are and where they're going. And there's no possible way to do that unless you are knowledgeable and educated on yourself. Another thing is that one can use their stupidity for their own advantage. So what does that mean to use your stupidity for your own advantage? Your mind, remember I said the only battle that you face is with your subconscious mind. Your mind wants to do more work for you than you want to accept. And it wants to work for you, but you need to take heed that your subconscious mind is dumb it doesn't know what it's doing right it has no clue what it's doing it has no clue why it's doing it and i'm sorry your conscious mind does not know what it's doing your subconscious mind is fully aware why it's doing it and usually it's to protect you but you can use the obedience of the subconscious mind to furthermore Create a life where distractions is not as easy. So comment below if you want me to make a video like that because you can use your stupidity to your own advantage. Um, you do not have to use use intelligence to create the, the highest maximum amount of results. So comment if you want that. Okay, so I'm trying to get my charger out, but I've given up. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is sexual momentum. So let's be honest, um, if you're a man watching this, why why do you not want distraction? Oh yeah, that's because you know 
that you're trying to increase your sexual market value. If you don't know what sexual market value is, it's um, what type of women that you're attracting and why are you attracting them and um, how to increase the odds of the women you want or the men you want wanting to date you. And one, you may want to lose your sense of distractions from your goals so you can call in the energy of an ex. Call in the energy of your future ideal man. Call them in through your level up. And um, I am not going to lie to you. That is a perfectly valid reason. It gets you active. It gets you in congruence with your human desires. Just like anything in life, they use sex as a business strategy. You may use sex as a way to level up yourself. And you may not even use it for sex, but you may use it for power, which I can say is congruence with sex. And um, uh, the Christians who watch me and the super religious people who watch me, like, um, that is just not the godly way to do things. And I'm like, don't want to be with you. You are not the you are not the person I'm taking advice from. Okay, I take advice from people I want to be like. I don't want to be like you. So refrain from commenting that. Ask yourself, looking at my life, who am I? Do I want to be who? Do I want to? Is my state? Would I want somebody to replicate that? Not your ideal state. Not what you think your intelligence is telling you. At your ideal state, do you think people want to listen to you? And your answer is there. Every person I've seen tell me that what I'm saying is wrong is, I don't know. They just, like, when it comes down to it, they don't really help you where, it needs to, where you need to be helped. You can also use that sexual momentum to pull in that energy for business. Um, th that's usually going to gather in some low hanging fruit. Just gather in that excess um, group of people who may just be attracted to you because they're attracted to you. I don't know about you, but if I'm buying a car... I want the attractive sales person, okay? I want the most attractive and the most knowledgeable person, preferably both in one, okay? So so this could be using it to motivate, using lust to motivate you or using love to motivate you. Now, there's also some people who are asexual and they will say like, well, I just want, I just want love. And that's equally the same thing as sexual market value. Like you want love and it will help you by learning how to not being distracted to get that love and to get that lust. And to also, no matter whether you want love or lust, is to increase your charisma. When you live a life that is low of distractions um, and is in pursuit of your purpose, it's like, like, I'm going to get this no matter what. Don't care how long it is, preferably faster than usual, but don't care. You will have to experience charisma and charisma is something that's going to help you well in the sexual dating market and for business. Why is that going to help you? Because why is distractions going to help you get more charisma? Because you have self-respect. Okay. Like I said, in the first couple of paragraphs, your low self-respect is very low. This is why you allow yourself to be distracted. Okay. Why you're allowing this soft suicide to take place in your life. Because your self-esteem is low. And once you start to lower your distractions, increase your productivity and innovation output, you can get charisma. And charisma is charm. And everybody likes a little charm. Okay? This comes from high confidence. Okay? Um, you do not need high confidence to have this. I mean, what are narcissists? They have high charisma, low results. And so charisma can be a red flag for very intelligent people. I know it's a red flag for me, um, but it can be a green flag if it's balanced out with humility. And so to me, humility comes from deep self-reflection. So you cannot be hu humble if you're not someone who deeply self uh, um have humility if you're not someone who deeply self-reflects on to your natural self. It allows deeper self, deep self, <laughs> Deep self-reflection allows the money noise, the creativity noise, and the fitness noise to decrease in your life.
there's a lot of noise that comes in our head about our money goals, our creativity. If you're a highly creative individual, like maybe, let's say you're posting a video, do I even have to explain money noise? Like who doesn't have money noise? Okay, if you're not actively digressing money noise, like I, you definitely have it. Um, you don't know what money noise is, you definitely have it. Creativity noise is you created something that you personally love, but you will not release it because what? It's just the noise of what you is possible or not possible for your level of creativity. Fitness noise, you know, are you getting your workout in? Are you getting in the amount of steps? Are you getting in the right calories? Getting all this excess noise about your fitness can also impact your energetics. Social media noise, that's self-explanatory. What is showing up in your feed? I say social media is too integrated into humanity for us to let it go and pretend it doesn't exist and be like, I'm going on a social media fast. Like, good luck with that. It's now core coexisting with humanity. And um, do you want to sub subscribe to that noise or do you want to um, clear your mind by deep self-reflection and finding out what you truly value, where your beliefs are going um, and how you want to cohort that into a way that feeds your purpose so this can only happen through humility of deep self-reflection and why does self-reflection have matter when you are trying to decrease the distractions it matters because you won't be aware you're being distracted unless you self-reflect you reflect of what happened this month what was happening this week? What happened today? How did I perform today? How am I going to perform better tomorrow? Having that constant reflection. It's okay if one day you, you let's say like you, you get that uh, really pissed, that text that pissed you off. If you're in the early stages of inner work, you may go the whole day without being productive. Or let's say you have family drama. You may go the whole day without being productive because you have not built a strong energetic core to understand that... Um, Every single person that you see who's achieved their goals also has those family problems, also gets those text messages, also gets those anxiety-ridden feelings of life. Don't think you're the only one, okay? But as you grow, which we'll get into creativity versus perfectionism, as you grow, and this growth comes from daily self-reflection, I mean ruthless self-reflection, I mean ruthless, ruthless 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 self-reflection do you have self-empathy yes but i'm trying to get you guys to achieve your goals i want you to get off this video and feel closer and feel more passionate to where you're going i don't want you to watch this video and then go watch another motivation video and then go watch another one and go another one and the whole time all you needed to do was get started okay and so daily self-reflection allows that you are being brutally honest with how you're spending your time, how you're spending it, and how is it going to get you to the next point B, uh, to get to point B. So now, pushing into daily self-reflection and humility, a way to triumph that is creativity versus perfectionism. So, excuse me, when I start talking, if you're new here, you start talking, she starts burping, okay? The air is just coming out, okay? The more... You should be more, um, not you should be more, you should be conscious that in your journey of your business, which is a creative act, um, your music page or your YouTube channel or moving up in whatever you're doing, okay? That's going to cre require more creativity than it is going to require more perfectionism. And so a lot of people get these two confused um when you're choosing creativity no one can tell if something's wrong you are the artist you get to de decide if something's wrong okay so if you make a song and you're like well i didn't like when i did this the person observing it does not know that they are not in connection with what the author truly intended through this and so sorry my my eye is so freaking weird i don't know whether it's spiritual but like my eye always gets freaking itchy when i'm recording like it's never itchy 
I swear, I've been sitting here for hours and it's never itchy. And once I stop recording, here my eye go. Here my eye go. And so creativity, in my opinion, is a higher frequency than perfectionism. Let that sink in. Creativity is a higher frequency than perfectionism. Creativity is business. There's no business operating without creativity. And there is no creativity that really is is self-respecting without business. Okay, let's change that up. There is no business that thrives without creativity. And there is no creativity that thrives without business. There's no self-respecting creativity that happens without business. If you want to become less distracting and more productive, consider we remove perfectionism. I don't even care if you're in the fucking education, so especially there. Humble those teachers. I don't care what you're doing. If you shift from perfectionism to creativity, that's a whole TED Talk. Someone's going to freaking tell. If you're smart, you caught that, okay? If you switch to pushing creativity, then more than you are pushing perfectionism, perfectionism you can reach higher limits um you're no longer under this confinement of well it's not perfect therefore i can't release it and you're literally holding up traffic when all you had to do was release it creativity is also a way to lose yourself a lot of people think okay it's not even a lot of people think I would say dang near everybody thinks. Um, It's better to lose yourself in perfectionism. This is what they think. It's better to lose yourself in perfectionism than it is better to lose yourself in creativity. When you lose yourself in creativity, your frequency heightens to the point where sometimes I even see demons come out of people. When you're optimizing, so the whole earth is a heart. The whole earth is a heart. This is why earth, E-A-R, however you spell earth, if you switch a couple letters, it spells heart, okay? I think it's E and H. It spells spells heart. And if you think of what, if you were a human being and the earth was in your heart and you just loved the earth so unconditionally, I, I was thinking about this yesterday and I was like, if I was a god of a particular planet and my heart was the earth, which is what earth is called, literally heart, we range letters it's hard i would want most people to sing i'd like everybody would be singing it could be because i'm a musician and i love music um but it could be also for the fact that it's it you here's what's going to happen you either get distracted watching other people's creativity or you get distracted being the creative that's it And so you can train your body to now look at running your business as a creativity, as a form of creativity. Owning your hair salon is a form of creativity. Running a YouTube channel is a form of creativity. Going on dates, getting money sent to you is a form of creativity. Creativity is everything. It's the most sexy and most attractive quality that you can possibly have period okay whether your creativity is creating technological miracles like the macbook or the iphone or the light or your creativity is stage design or course writing course writing is also a form of creativity all of these are all creative acts the problem is in your distraction your pursuit to distraction one you have such low self-esteem you won't allow yourself to create the culture has not also allowed you to create as a so I hate when people try to push me being black. They come on my comments and they're like, as a black woman, you should buy as a black woman, you should do this. As a black woman, you should do this. I barely remember I'm a black woman. I don't I don't care. And so they're projecting nonsense onto me. And I'm like, they're like, as a black woman, you shouldn't be wearing those Eurocentric wigs. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? 
And so these people want me to live in fear of them. They want me to live in fear of not being accepted by the black community. They want me to live in fear like that. They also, sometimes if they don't want to go that low, they want me to assume the victimhood that they have assumed in their life. They say, because I'm black, I will never do this. And they want me to believe that. They want me to think the same as them. Because I'm a black woman, I will never achieve this. I'll never do this. and I, Or I'll, I'll never be able to be like this. Or I'll never be able to do like this. And why do I talk like that? And I should be doing this. And I, I'm like, oh, you sound more racist than any person who's ever been racist to me. I say anything you desire, all your goals, all your aspirations and everything in between, they all want one thing from you and that's your creativity to achieve them. That's all they want. And you can either choose to get lost in other people's creativity or create. So that's it. And the way it's going now, a lot of people who are creating, getting lost in other people's creativity, getting lost there in their creativity, they don't know that they're being programmed and their thoughts are being used spiritually to achieve their goals. Rappers do this excellently. They will rap about money. They ain't got no shit in their bank account. They ain't got no, not one Lambo. They are late on rent. They are fucking going crazy. They're in and out of consciousness, bitch. But they'll rap about making money, being on top, being a legend, being one of the greatest. And soon enough, they are. And, oh my God, I need to write this down. Okay, I need to, I need to, Joy, remember this. When you create... You are now in a higher frequency, like I just said, that is allowing you to finally attract what you fucking want, what you need to feed your family, right? Not just what you want, what you have bills, bitch. You got bills. Okay? <laughs> and so the creativity allows the manifestation to come faster. So this also works well for teachers. Because I'm teaching you this stuff, this stuff gets deeply rooted in my brain and allows for my atomic, my genetic expression to change more than it is for you to listen. Which is why I also recommend if you are somebody who's like, you cannot get a certain principal, principle into your ma mind, a heavenly principle, not a demonic one, you can... Use that to manifest. And someone's going to be like, she's a cult. How did she get that knowledge? You're not a Christian. That's a cult knowledge. It's not a cult. If, oh my God, my eyes going to start twitching. If, 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 if Satanism said to you that, if, if let's say Satanism was the one who invented gravity, not invented gravity, discovered gravity, would you say, well, I'm not going to listen to that because I'm just not going to listen to that because, it, it, you know, it's from Satanism. Even though it's a literal principle about reality. Are we that dense? Are we that far? Because if that's the case, turn off your laptop. Because a lot of Christians also say, oh, well, frequency is demonic. Okay, so turn off your laptop. This is a whole frequency. So, okay, turn off your TV. Throw your phone in the trash. Throw your radio at your car. Wear earplugs everywhere you go because you will be infected with the demons of vibration and frequency. It's not demonic. It's just the way the world works. And so creativity is a high, high frequency compared to perfectionism, which usually leads to tears, bro. Like tears, sadness, regret, and remorse. But, um... Oh my God, I love this. I love this video more than... I think this video helped me. I, I said some things. I'm like, whoa, that's definitely true. And because I'm a woman and I think have to think out loud um anyways I love you guys so much I'm literally about to go on a hike um around the ocean I'm feeling so good this is gonna be my relaxation and um I just love you guys so much thank you for watching my video and please comment like subscribe share my videos love you guys bye